Now remember, if you like this content, <laughs> please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Hey everybody, this is Six Shot from RRC Family Gaming, and today I'm bringing you my take on Gruel Werewolves uh, for Standard. Uh, I can't say 2022 anymore. It's just standard. It's standard now. No more 2022. Um, but let's get into the deck. The older cards uh, we'll briefly go over, but I'll. I'll I want to go into the new cards because that's what you guys are here for. All right, so take a look. We got four Sentinels. You guys know what that does. We have uh, two two Snakeskin Veils for the extra protection for the creatures. Um, now we have Lunar Frenzy here. This is a cool card. This could be a really nice offensive card, or it could actually be a sneak uh, ambush defensive card because uh, for basically one red, you, you give your creature first strike and trample. Um, the X is to pump to pump up the power even more um, and it's instant speed so that, like I said you could do a nice little ambush uh, so you can play this card offensively or defensively it's really neat and it helps you get uh, you know gets get uh, more damage through especially against those uh, controlly decks that like to run the the one ones and you know block everything and then uh, wipe the board with blood and snow and uh, you know make the games last 20 plus minutes um, here we go we got inscription you know what inscription does this is an extra fight spell in the deck. We have werewolves. Uh, Ranger class, you know what Ranger class does. Uh, it makes a wolf. It pumps you up. And you can search uh, with the Vivian uh, when you hit level 3. Uh, we got two pack leaders here. I only went with two um, because it's just because we're doing two spell, two colors here with Gruel. And it's kind of hard to get out uh, double green right off the bat. So I just went with two. Um, you know, and then we can make, make we can make adjustments. Let's see how the the matches go, but we can make adjustments if need be. But I just did two for now. Um, Arnie uh, says a troll. You know, this is another fight. Um, gives you the counters, and it can gain you life. Um, now we got the naturalist Kessick. He's really cool. Whenever he attacks, you can add green or red until end of turn, and they don't lose this mana as the steps and phases end. It also has daybound, which now makes it day. Um, and then when it uh, transforms. He's, uh, he, he gives all your wolves and werewolves plus one plus one, and then it has the same ability. Whenever he attacks, he gets to generate that mana, so it's really nice, a really cool card. Um, and it helps, you know, because you're generating mana as you attack, you can do some combat tricks, especially with the Inscription, uh, because it's Inscription's instant, Snakeskin, another instant, Lunar, instant. So you got nice combat tricks that you can, uh, that you can do with getting that, by getting the extra mana from the Naturalist. All right, and then we got the Reckless Stormseeker. He's awesome. He goes in a lot of decks because he can give any creature plus one, plus O, and haste. And then uh, when he transforms, he gives the creature plus two, plus O, and trample in haste. Yeah, so he's awesome. Uh, he'd be a cool, cool card in other decks too. I, I see him showing up a lot, um, in my opinion. Um, he is two three when he's a human, and he's a three four when he is a werewolf. Uh, let's see. We got Primal Adversary. I didn't go crazy on these because I wanted to play it, but I want to be I want to play it when I'm I have the mana to pay the extra extra amount. So I pay two any number of times, uh, one green, one uh, colorless when it comes into play, and then I could, I could put that many counters, one plus one plus or plus one plus one counters on them, and then. Up to that many target lands you control become three three wolves. Now keep in mind you want to have at least six mana available, so uh, total. So that way you pay the five right uh, to pump them up. He gets the plus one plus one counter, but then you have an untapped wolf that can come in that becomes a three three and can attack. Because if you do it with five, the land's going to be tapped. Just just remember that. Just keep that in mind. Um, so he's pretty neat. Uh, we got Tovalar has the Toski ability, so whenever a wolf a werewolf deals combat damage to a player. You get to draw a card. Um, and then if you have three or more wolves at the beginning of your upkeep, you get to transform him. It becomes knight, and then he transforms into the midnight scourge. And then same thing, whenever the wolf or werewolf attacks and does combat damage, you get to draw a card. But he also has this neat uh, trample ability. Uh, target wolf or werewolf you control gets plus X plus O and gains trample on 10 the turn. Keep in mind... If you need to get extra damage, but you only have two lands available, one green, one red, you can still use the ability. You don't have to pay X, and that'll give your creature, whatever creature you target, trample. Um, just keep that in mind. That can help you finish games, you know, or, you know, you don't want to miss, um, you don't want to miss lethal because you forgot to add the trample. Just remember, you just need two. 
Obviously, if you have more, you do more, um, but you only need two to activate that ability. All right. Now, here's my spice for my gruel wolves. You know, I got the God of Fury. We have all the fight spells in this deck. Let's throw in God of Fury. You know, let's get that extra win con. Because with these big creatures, you know, you fight a 1-1, one, one, you can chain all that damage to either clear the board or just do a massive amount of damage straight to the face. So, yeah, that's why God of Fury's in here as my little tech for my uh, Gruel Werewolves. Um, we have Arlen, the Pax Hope. Uh, she has Daybound, makes it day. Um, now, what's nice about her, she has, uh, she transforms as well, but her, let's start with the, her regular phase, plus one, until end of turn, you can cast, until your next turn, you may cast creature spells as though they had flash, and anytime you, uh, play a creature like that, you get the plus one, plus one counter, so that's really nice. Uh, her negative three, you get to create two wolves, which is sweet, because then that helps you, uh, hit the Tolvar, um, Tovalar, uh, uh, requirement to turn into knight and to turn him into the scourge so that's really sweet and then when she flips she's got the uh plus two which gives her green and red and then her zero she turned into an indestructible werewolf a five five indestructible werewolf with trample and haste so yeah she's awesome um and then we have our finisher uh we got tovalar's hunt master he costs six um and when he enters the battlefield you get to create two wolves if it's night you uh whenever he enters a battlefield you get to create two wolves or if he attacks so if he attacks and you get to create an additional two wolves so he's really cool and he has a built-in fight spell where another target wolf you pay for another target wolf or werewolf you control fights target creature you don't control so that goes nicely with the god of fury um to get like i said get that excess damage um i didn't go snow guys uh because i you know I was like, you know, are we really going to have consistently three uh, Snowlands down to, to get the, you know, to get the nice buffs? Or is it going to be like turn five or turn six before we have actually three actual Snowlands down? So that's why I didn't go with the Snowlands and I went the fighting route with the Inscription and with the Arnie. Um, it's just because, I mean, look, you got, I'm using a Shatter Skull. That's not a Snowland. We're using the Rock, Rockfall Veil, vale, not a Snowland. Pathways, not a Snowland. Uh, the bugbear, you know, to get the extra uh, creature lands in the deck, not a snow land. So I just didn't see it working out where we would get the bonus, the bonuses from going with the snow. Um, so that's why I went this route. But anyways, deck called Neckbreakers. Let's get into arena and see how it does. All right, who do we got? Sandman. Let's go. Okay, we can keep this. Oof. Let's see. Um, hoping to hit like a ranger class or something to help to generate some more mana to get up to this guy. We'll see. We have ambush with the lunar frenzy. Um. Actually, now we have the inscription, so let's just... We have options. He attacks in, maybe we just do the Lunar Frenzy and save the inscription for the fight. You know? Okay. Let's block. There we go, he gets the uh, first strike. All right, cool. Oh, he didn't boast. Gonna play the Aspirant. Or... Okay, Clarion's gotta die. Okay. Um, let's do this. Um, ch -ch -ch. Let's play this. Right, and then let's play. Hmm. You know what? Let's get in some damage. 
Alright, now we have a big enough creature to just straight fight the Clarion. Okay, it's gonna take out the Sentinel. Alright, so he's probably gonna play open hand, the monk, probably, or no, not the monk, because he would have played the monk first and then played the portable hole. Okay. He's got two cards left. What does he have? We could, um, we could do this, we give him haste, we swing in, we can draw some cards, there we go, hopefully a land, okay, we got a land, it wasn't green, but that's okay, now we have multiple fight spells, All right, so what's he got? I think next turn we'll do, um, we're probably just gonna kill, we'll get rid of the Clarion. Yeah, I'll we'll just get rid of it. Okay. Alright. He didn't play a spell, so that's why that didn't uh, do that. Um, how do we do this? We gotta get rid of the Clarion so he can stop growing. Unfortunately, he's a 3-3. Three, three. Let's play the Pack Leo's Gamble a little bit, because we're gonna give him haste, right? Okay, we didn't draw the uh, the green. It was a gamble. Oh, well, now we can draw the green. Come on. Yes, there it is. All right, cool. Let's play the Rock Veil, vale. right? And then what we'll do is we will, let me want to do this. I can't kill the Clarion, but uh, I mean, I guess I could, I guess I could. Um, I don't, I don't want to lose my guy. So what we'll do is we'll just get rid of this. All right. So now, um, Somebody's gonna get an extra count, two two counters, and then um, we have three wolves. So if he doesn't get rid of one of the wolves, it's gonna turn to night, and then I'll have the trample ability, which is target wolf or werewolf you control gets plus X plus O and gains trample on the end of turn. Um, it only costs one green and one red to activate. Just remember that, guys. It only costs one green and one red. You don't have to pay. All right. Besides the two, the green and the red. That's all you have to pay is the green and the red. If you just need to get damage in. Alright, so now we're gonna go out with style though. Because it's nighttime, so I'm gonna generate a whole bunch of wolves. Play this. Let's give this guy haste. And trample. And that's the game. The game. Alright, flippy. Flippo. Filippo. 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 There we go. Filippo. Oh, man. No green. We got to throw that back. Mulligan. Okay. We keep this. Wow. Three of them. We don't need that many. Okay. Play this. Sentinel. If he plays something kind of small, maybe I, uh, never mind. That's probably a counter spell. Um, 
How do we do this? Let's just play this. Uh, let's attack. I don't want to waste the fight spell. I mean, yeah, we could have done it, but if that's a counter spell, then it's for nothing anyways, because he's just going to sit on it. And then even though we get that extra land, when we go to play it, it just gets countered. All right, so that was a poison cup. All right. We need uh, we need snake skin. We need to start drawing some creatures though. That's for sure. Or this is gonna be uh, yeah. Keep on drawing lands. It's gonna be a short fight. Um. Wow. All right. Oh, let's just attack. The equipment's no good in this in this spot because uh, the sentinel's not legendary. So um, let's play the naturalist. Do that. All right. I wish we had a snake skin so we could uh, have some type of protection. We're not putting enough pressure though. We I mean, if he sits on his cards, though, then it goes to nighttime. No. Yeah, that's why I wanted the snakeskin. These controlling matchups. Man. Alright. Um... That's all we can do. I mean, if we had a snakeskin, I would just leave the, uh, leave the sentinel. I'm gonna bluff. I'm gonna bluff. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe it works. <laughs> That's a total bluff. That's me just saying, hey, I'm keeping up one green mana for something. The other one's probably Poison Cup, if I had to take a guess. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Snakeskin would have been clutch there. And another land. You gotta love those lands. Alright, good thing we got the bugbear. Get some damage in. Alright, crab. We can at least fight the crab. Oh, it took our hunt masters. Two of them. Okay, well, they can't activate the hive, so I'm guessing that's a poison. I mean, he's already had two poison cups. We got another one? There's no way. That's probably a counter spell. And another land. Yeah. Let's keep them coming. Um, that's probably a poison cup, unfortunately. That's very lucky on his part. Um,. Hmm. What is that? Let's attack. I want to generate the extra token. The reason I attacked before I did the fight was because I wanted to make sure I generated another token. So that way, if this is a counter spell, we at least have more pressure. Or if it's, um, yeah, I probably should have just, I guess I could have fought it before, got in an extra damage. Hopefully that's not a mistake. I guess I was thinking if that was a poison cup, he would kill it before I attacked. Um, what does this do? Alright, well, that's what that's going on. Let's do uh, green, bug bar, okay, at the beginning of your upkeep choose a target opponent until the turn that player can't cast spells, you may look, three, four, five, no, short, just one, I'm going to hold up. What does this do? At the beginning of your upkeep, choose target opponent. Until end of turn, that player can't cast spells. You may look, oh, I can't cast. Oh, man. Um, 
Wow. Hmm. What does he use? I just need to save one creature. Actually, two. No. Ah, of course he gets that. Why wouldn't he? Man, I've been flooded with lands. This dude's pulling werewolves first thing. I swear I've been flooded with lands most of this game. Takes my ranger class. Wow. Yep. Yeah, a bunch of lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a crazy amount of blood, man. Alright, gain some life. Okay, so. Alright, we got this. We're gonna kill. We're gonna kill that kingpin, right? Hmm. Or do we just attack? Yeah, let's just attack. He can only block two. Yeah, we got this. We got it. One, two. Okay. Uh, go for the style points, I guess, but there we go there. Target player. Target creature. Just doing that for the style points. And the game. All right, Red Skrill 2795, let's go. Okay, we can keep this. We'll do Bugbear on turn two. Unfortunately, one of them will have to come in tapped, but that's okay. I wasn't paying attention. I don't even know who goes first. I do, yes. All right, do the Sentinel. Okay, could be a mill that, oh, and third one? Oh, nice. You get to look at the top card of your library. Must have been good. Okay, frostbite. Um, let's get this down now. Another one. That's actually pretty cool because you get to draw, you get to look. Okay, so this is one of those decks, huh? So you get to look at your top card, decide if you want it. If you don't want it, you could chuck it and then draw, and then you draw your cards. That's pretty neat. So you got another uh, frostbite. What is this fading hope? Counterspell, who knows. I'm really not drawn. Alright, so I'm gonna hold up the inscription. Um, or do I just play another one? Let's flood him. Spirit. Alright, it's got another. Okay, Flame of Fire. Alright, this guy's using everything, huh? Okay. Let's do green. Let's do this. Right? Huh. 
Then we'll swing in. Alright. Uh, no you don't. Let's go ahead and fight. Alright, didn't get to attack, but we got rid of his, uh, snow thing. Alright, we have this, uh, for the next one. So he's sitting on a counter spell. So that's fine. We'll just continue to do, um, we'll just continue to do damage. That's what we're gonna do. Maybe I should put green to pretend it was a snake skin. I'm not playing that. Alright, it's nighttime. So now he's bigger. Alright, I mean he could sit back and hold counters all you want, but you gotta you gotta take care of the board. The good news is by him going to three, he's saved from the uh that giant, the it's not it doesn't not a giant one, but it's the one where it does two damage and exiles everything if they die. I forgot what it's called, smash the the weak or something like that. Um, so he's out of range of that. Okay, we can kill that. He doesn't have a counter to protect it. Okay, one, two, three. So what I need two, two, one, two, one, two, three. Okay. Let's just kill that. Boom. Submit. I mean, I can't do anything else, but... Man, another one. Jeez. Alright, well, we got rid of that for now. Uh, one, two... Yeah, I only have two lands, so I can't play the Storm Seeker. Alright, he's got three cards. Two cards. He has to play spells to reduce the cost of this, right? Oh, he can he can he can play it in the graveyard. All right. I do Arlen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could do Arlen. Right. You want to fight me and do this. <laughs> the darkness won't hide our enemies from us. And then, or should I hold them back? No, you know what? Let's do this. He comes with the extra counter, so now he can attack in and kill. Oh, he didn't block. Okay. He must have another one or something to deal with it. Okay. Beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card. Alright, now he's just putting creatures down. Okay, so he's gonna kill my Arlen. Or he's gonna send back the Stormseeker. He's only got two creatures that can block. As of right now. So he's got two creatures that can block as of right now. Let's see what he gets. If the Storm Seeker survives. Okay, so it's not gonna. Survive. What's he gonna do? Gonna kill the Sentinel, probably. I, I'm assuming. Or he's gonna kill the. What? Does that not target? I gotta look at this real quick. I thought that targeted. Oh, was it an expressive? I thought it was um, a prism. Yeah. Target, uh, any target. Why did he play that? Huh. That's strange. Okay. Um, what do we do here? Let's play this. Right? So that way it comes in with an extra counter. And then we're going to flash it in before combat, so that way he can get the buff. If he has a counter, he can counter it. But then we still have enough to swing in with the bugbear. I think we got this? I just don't know what that second card is. I'm assuming this is a counter spell. So we'll flash this in, right? He counters it. 
I'm assuming. No, he doesn't. Okay. So let's get the bugbear out. Okay, he made that a 2 2. Alright. Gave it some teeth. I think we got him. I think we got him. Because I'm swinging in with one, two, three, four, five, six creatures. Because this is going to create a, this is going to create a goblin. Let's go. Yep, good game. All right, we're going against math or M for math. Probably math. All right, uh, it's supposed to be math. Okay, no one drops, but we got a couple two drops. We'll do the naturalist first because it generates the land. Let's just play it since we didn't have a one drop. Might as well just play it now. All right. Um, so this is this guy's just gonna try to pick pick our stuff off. Um, oh, let's see. Sometimes, maybe sometimes he'll play it. Maybe he'll play an iteration or for foretell something else. Um, taking the chance because he generates the land when he attacks. Alright, okay. Well, it didn't work that time. The reason I took the chance, though, was because, um... Alright. He doesn't have three snow yet, so that would... Wouldn't, um, do it. Uh... Let's play him again. Let's try again. Okay, he's highlighting it immediately. If he survives, then that, that'll open it up, because um, we'll get that extra land, where we could play uh, Tovalar and then drop the Ranger class in the same turn, potentially. Alright. Okay. Alright, it's probably sitting on a counter spell though. That's the only issue. The only issue. Um, we'll do it this way. Oh, it's too green. Let's play him. No, okay. I mean, the Ranger class went out pretty quickly, so I thought it was okay. Alright, no. Uh, what do we need? Let's do green. No, oh, let's do this. Alright. Okay, let's do green. Alright. What do you got? You know, is he gonna play creatures or he just is he just gonna play Arlen? There we go. And we will just plus two. Or... Okay. And end turn. Alright, so now we have a big threat with Arlen. It's gonna be indestructible. Okay. Alright, so. Oh. Arlen's dead. Oh no. I thought he was gonna hit her with uh, something. Let's get her indestructible. Alright. Now that's game. Alright. About that action. All right. Okay, we can keep this. We're gonna try to do the same game plan like the, the other games. We'll get the naturalist down first because he can generate mana when he attacks. All right, looks like some type of zombie deck. Let's play it now. Play this now. Um, okay. So the naturalist. We can kill, we can kill this thing if he, I highly doubt he's not playing a zombie here, but um, 
If not, we can kill it with the fight. Potentially. Let's see what he has. Alright, so he's got something for the naturalists. Okay. Alright. Um, let's do this. How do we do this? Yeah, let's do this. So that way when we attack, we get that extra mana. So it's like we're playing, even though it's turn four, we're playing with five mana versus only playing with uh, four. So that means we can do the Overlord attack. Okay, never mind. He's going to... All right, back to back. All right. Back to back there. The next step would be to uh, would be to what what's wrong? Oh, he should have played it. Yeah, he should have played it uh, earlier. Um, he's only got two creatures, right? We can do ranger class, and we can ambush. So that's what we're gonna do. Do ranger class and ambush. Okay. We can get rid of the parish. All right. Okay, it's gonna be hard to get rid of the parish now without dying. We can get rid of the stitch though. Okay. So let's get rid of the stitch. Okay. Killed that. All right. Let's drop this. Alright, um, how do we want to do this? I could kill him, but then the wolf dies, so we don't want that. Let's go in. Alright, we draw a card. Okay, we got another wolf, that's cool. Good game. And we're back. All right. So I have it set up. You guys see the wins. We had five wins. We had two losses. Um, I didn't show all the matches because I'm trying to keep uh, the videos under 50 minutes. Um, but, um, you know, I showed you, I think, what, we had like five matches on there. The deck went five and two, 71% win, win rate. And I actually hit uh, platinum uh, platinum rank two or tier two. Um so this deck is definitely viable. We had, uh, and look, and what's cool too is, look, I was on the play only two times. I was on the play two times, um, and we were on the draw five times. So we were on the draw five times, and we went five and two. I mean, that's not bad. Um, so let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and head back to the deck real quick, and then we'll close it out. All right, one more time, we'll take a look at the deck. Um, you know, this is the first version. Uh, maybe we do some tweaks here or there, or maybe we add add new stuff. Um, you know, test out the deck. If you guys um, have the cards already, go ahead. Or if you need to craft some, go ahead, try it out. Let me know in the comments how it does for you. Um, I think the deck's really good. And, um, you know, remember to like and subscribe. We're trying to grow the channel. We're almost at 150 subscribers. I mean, when we started this summer, I think we were at five. So this is huge. Um Remember the end game goal, trying to get to a thousand. Um, but yeah, this is great. Um, and like I said, guys, let me know if you guys uh, get to play more with the deck. Um, let me know how it does for you. I think it'll do re really well. All right, guys, take it easy. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you like in five. <laughs>